video um, I'm still actually in Denver Colorado uh, we'll actually be flying out after actually leaving the hotel after I finish shoot this video decided to come out uh, by the pool and just um, shoot my last video of in Denver um, but I had put a post on Facebook about me changing my major definite purpose and when I put that post on on Facebook, I got a few questions just asking what actually is a major definite purpose. So I'm going to do a blog post about it. But I add this video of what um, I, you know, uh, why I write a major definite purpose. I get on the Think and Grow Rich call every day, and I'm, we are reading the Think and Grow Rich book. And it speaks about having a major definite purpose. And so to answer the question of what a major definite purpose is, it is just really a statement of, of goals that you have. And, and mine is more of a financial uh, statement of what I want my income to look like. And actually, I did a 90-day major definite purpose. So what I want my income to look like in 90 days. And... Um, on the Think Grow Rich book, it kind of gives you more details, and, and you can't uh, really say anything like, oh, I just want some money, or I want to be wealthy. You need to be more clear uh, and specific when you're writing your major definite purpose. Now, before, when I wrote mine, I, it was a little clear. It was kind of specific. It had um, the amount that I would like to have in 90 days. It, it even had... Um, you know, where I wanted to live, you know, those type of things. But I had gotten on the Think Grow Rich call with Paul Hutchings, and he kind of talked about his major definite purpose. And his was so specific. I mean, I woke up in the morning, and I could smell. I mean, I started my, well, let me just tell you what mine is. I woke up in the morning, and I could smell uh, apple candles. Um, and I went to the back office of my Empower Network um, office, and and, it, it, and I'm not going to go into the whole thing, but my point is, I, I, I said where I was living, um, I, I had a dog named Cece, um, and, uh, you know, I went further to things that I want my life to look like within the next 90 days. Very specific, what does it smell like, what does it taste like, what do you want it to look like clear because when you're writing the vision and making it plain and you know that I used to do I've done vision board parties for the last couple of years um, you, you have to be clear what, what they said at the conference was to be clear and specific when writing your goals you have to see them so clear in your head that you are able to uh, see it smell it what it's going to taste like um, so um, that's really what a major definite purpose is. That's just a little teaser. I'll, I'll do a blog post about it and help you do steps. So I'll put this video in the blog about um, my major definite purpose so that you can see what you need to do when you write your major definite purpose. So I'm going to end here. This, is, this video is just to help you with your major definite pur purpose and to, so you can be able to write one yourself. So I'm going to end here. Um, I'm going to six. I'm on the next video. We'll be back in Atlanta or actually maybe I'll be in Houston uh, next week as well. Um, so I'm going to end here. Uh, this has been a word from Terry Clay and it's my purpose to change the world with positive words and I am.